I'm Elizabeth Moore Lusink with 30A TV, and Byron's going to tell us what the website is for that foundation. Uh, you can find us at rosemarybeachfoundation.org or rbfoundation.org. It'll take you to the website. You can find more information about our events and our fundraising activities in Walton County. Uh, degrees of superhero outfits tonight, so we're doing really good with that. Um, the foundation event is really it's an annual event we do for uh, Shelter House, which is a women's abuse shelter, and we do a really good job for this event, and we're really excited about it. Well, the rain is going to hold off. And I heard there are over 200 people that are registered Zuma. So Absolutely. tell us about the night. It's a great turnout. I mean, we're so glad the weather held and we'll walk around town. And then we have an amazing party inside with band and food and everything later. And we share the proceeds with Felt Shelter House and the foundation. So all is good. Great partnership. Good organization. How great is it, though, in this community to be raising money and awareness for domestic violence? Uh, it's amazing, and we do such a good job. We have a lot of sponsors, the same sponsors year after year, and new sponsors. It's growing. We started about five years ago with a few walkers and a little bit of money, and now it's grown to this. So we're just really excited. All right, well, pretty cute superheroes, but can we check out his shoes? Yes. I mean... I so for, hold I on. Low in Atlanta for these shoes. Oh. So I had I had to I had to from Atlanta. All the way from Atlanta. Okay, now as women, tell us it's much easier than it looks. Well, this was my third uh, pair of shoes that I tried, and I discovered that a wedge is much better than a heel. So this was the only thing that I thought I could walk around town in. So that's why I decided on these. Now you know why tall people like me don't wear them. Oh my gosh, I don't. I do not know how women do this. I do not know how you do it. All right, guys. Thank you. Thank you. All right, I'm joined with Jerry and Michael. Guys, tell us kind of who you are and why you're here tonight. Uh, I'm Jerry Holman, work for the Rosemary Beach Cottage Rental Company. Uh, this is my third year doing the Walk Her Way. Uh, it's a great cause, and uh, I mean, it just gives a chance to really feel like the women feel in uh, high heels. So it's a, it's a great thing. All right, well, how does it feel? It feels a little different. I, I wish I'd have got to come out right when the walk was about to start. Now I got to stand around right before it's about to start. But like Jerry talked about, the cause coming out here to help Shelter House and uh, the people that kind of go through those situations, it's a great cause. And I'm willing to do anything to help something like that. And the amount of money it's already raised in the past years, and this is my first year being a part of it, it's really awesome. I'm happy to be here for sure. Okay, well, check back in with me in two hours. But yeah, um, I want, like, the color coordination, like what's going on here? It's a little bit of everything. We kind of threw it together. Jerry's a lot better than I. He's yeah. all pink. I'm kind of just doing the best I can. We just kind of text each other back yeah. and forth as to what we were going to go with. Yeah, so uh, it, it, I think it come together okay. <laughs> Jerry, why pink? Um, I like pink. Everybody says I look good in pink. Not that. What do you say? He looks that? good in pink. All right, so we're we're actually you guys are going to do the entire walk, right? Yes, ma'am. Okay, then you're going to come back and check in with me and exactly. show me your blister. Exactly right. I'll be here. I'll take them off. I'll show them to everybody. It's all right. All right, guys. Thank you. Thank you. Very yes, ma'am.
What are you wearing? Okay, my name is Kim. I'm the zookeeper at 38 Smiles, and I am wearing a tutu fashioned by Amazon. It's a running tutu, and I have tissue paper pom poms in my shoes and ribbon in my hair, and it's all in support of women. And we know how important it is for women to have a beautiful smile, and we want to help domestic violence women in every way we can, particularly with their smile. Awesome. Thanks, guys. All right. Thank you. So these t-shirts were at the start and the finish line for the race. Tell us what they are. So this is part of our clothesline project, which is a national initiative to spread awareness uh, for domestic violence. And so we try to display them uh, whenever and wherever we can. Uh, this is the perfect event to have them up at the start and, and at the finish to really bring the mission home of, of why we're here. And it's all over the country or it's just in Florida? Correct. So it's all over the country. And so, um, you know, the women and kids, they make them during support groups or different, um, you know, therapy sessions. And so it's a great outlet for them. Uh, and it's great for us to be able to spread, use them to spread awareness. Do you know how many you guys have made over the years? Oh, my goodness. Uh, we, <laughs> we, we cycle them in and out. Um, we use them quite a bit. But I would, oh, gosh, we probably have at least a, at least 100, I would say. Tell us a little bit more about the shelter houses, services that you guys provide. I read you helped 6,000 men, women, and children last year. So tell us about the services. Correct. So uh, shelter house, house is, of course, in our name, but uh, we actually offer many more services than that. We have five uh, outreach locations across the two counties where we offer peer counseling, uh, legal assistance, pretty much anything that a survivor may need uh, in the transition that they're going through right in, in that period of their life. Um, we also uh, provide uh, counseling to children through a play therapist uh, for children who have witnessed domestic violence or been in that situation. Um, and then we also have a pretty robust uh, education program where we go into schools uh, geared towards prevention um, and you know talk to kids about healthy relationships and, and respect to end the violence before it starts. It's so incredible the t-shirts that you guys are selling out here these um, beautiful t-shirts that people have made through therapy if someone needs help or they want to volunteer how can they find that out? Uh, well they can check out our website shelterhousenwfl.org or you can always call our admin office at 243-1201 uh, and if you're someone who needs help we do have the 24-hour crisis hotline for domestic violence, 863-4777, or we have a helpline for sexual violence. Thank you so much for your time. Thank you. Running it. Come here, cuties. It's almost inappropriate. All right, what are you what are your guys' names? Ryan Simus. Ryan. Heather. All right. You walked the whole thing. Walked the whole thing. Okay, how'd it feel? Um, it felt great walking, but the walking didn't feel great. <laughs> that doesn't make any sense. It does. Well, the idea of walking felt great. Okay. The actual process of walking, ouch. Right. It hurts the toes. Men were made with wide feet, and women's shoes were made to be narrow, so, yeah. So, um, what, the dress, though, I got it, why the dress? Because it matched my shoes perfectly. And your hat. And my hat, exactly. So, yeah, it's, it's all about coordination. But I'm a little jealous, because he got a lot of hooting and hollering over there, and I'm yeah, like, wait a minute. Got, uh, exactly. I know. I'm, okay, so, um, is this the first time you've walked in heels? Does it show? Asking you the truth. <laughs> this is the first time I've walked in heels. Okay, so now you know how women feel. It's not comfortable. No, I don't understand the whole idea of why would somebody want to do that on purpose. It doesn't. It doesn't make sense to me. 
besides Paul, who's dressed as Hillary Clinton. Um, and you did the walk today. How was it? Great. Was it fun? Mm -hmm. Was it hard? Nope. Nope. And your mom volunteers at the shelter house, right? Yeah. Do you know what they do there? Uh, they was, um, they belong to that um, um, when their mommy and daddies were being mean, um, um, they come to shelter house for my, um, for the um, mommy and daddies to stay there. So, um, so they can be safe. Mm -hmm. It's so nice. And and um, they can um, do um, and they work there and um, all of the children can stay in the kids room and um, and then that's it.